so a very good morning to one and all so what we'll try to do in this experiment is we have a glass of water and we have a vaseline bar so we'll first try to dip this vaseline inside water so what do you observe so you'll observe that the size of vaseline increases like it increases in its size but do you know the reason why like in your earlier videos like you must have seen that because water is there in the glass so there is refraction but is it the only reason that because of water the size of any object increases or is there anything else also related to this so to get a differentiation what we'll try to do is we'll try to repeat the very same experiment using a different uh, box it's a cubical box and uh, we'll fill water inside it so now after filling water we'll dip the same vaseline bar and to your surprise you'll see the size remains the same so as you were thinking earlier that it may be because of water it's not because of water because there is water in this also and that's the same water that we used in the glass so but now if not water then what is it so can you see the difference between these two objects so in the first object you can see the corners are a little curved like uh, they have a curvy surface but in this one it has edge uh, it's like a plain surface so it uh, this one has a curved surface and the earlier one has a plain surface so because the curvature of both the surfaces are different that's why uh, the object sees uh, like you see the object differently in both the cases you can see that it's not the just the medium but the curvature of the medium as well so we'll try to do it with a different activity first we'll take a glass lab and uh, try observing the uh, the arrow behind the glass lab it's of same size right now we'll bring some another object with a curved surface and we'll see the size of object the size of arrow increases but both were made of uh, transparent glass now we'll bring another substance another curvature to it and we'll observe that the size of arrow shrinks down it reduces so when we see at the curvature of all these objects we see the last object is curved inwards and the second object was a bulgy sort of thing so because of different curvatures light tends to deviate so we'll try to understand the so now we'll do the same experiment using a ray box we'll put a glass lab and you can see the rays passing over without any bending so secondly we'll uh, uh, we'll bring this one and we'll see the rays converge so this is because the curvature was different than the glass lab so now we'll bring another object and we'll see the rays diverge so the reason the rays are behaving differently is because the curvature is different for all the three cases so in this particular case the rays were bending at a like they were converging at a certain point and in this case the rays were diverging but why it's happening exactly like it is also from air to glass to air and here also it's air to glass to air so why these two is happening so like in the whole video we have uh, stressed upon the point that the curvature is different in this the curvature is bulged outwards and in this the curvature is bulged inwards so let's see what actually is happening in this both cases so in this first case we are taking a cross section of the lens so when the ray enters it so it is the normal and in the earlier videos we have seen from uh, this rarer to denser medium whenever a ray enters it bends towards the normal so it is bending towards the normal and in this case it is the normal to the surface and whenever it, is, it exits out it's from rarer it's from denser to rarer so now it will bend away from the normal so this is towards the normal this is away from the normal so what's happening is when you uh, look at the larger picture what's happening is ray is coming from this and it's going out like this so when all the rays will uh, work in the same behavior so you will see they are converging at a point so this is what we call a convex lens in case where the curvature was like this so again i am taking a cross section of that so in this also it was the rarer medium it was denser and again it was rarer medium so light was coming like this so this is the normal to the surface 
now what's happening from rarer to denser it will bend towards the normal so it will bend like this and uh, here this is the normal to the surface and uh, so now what will happen is from denser to rarer it will bend away from the normal so uh, if it bends like this it will bend towards the normal so it will bend a little like this it is bending away from the normal so as a whole what you can see is ray is coming from rarer medium like this it is going from denser to another rarer medium like this so so now what we'll do it we'll extend this to make the whole lens and if the ray that is coming exactly like this if it is coming from down sides so the same thing will happen and it will bend like this so now what's happening is if this is the center line the rays are diverging away they are not meeting at any point and in this as in the convex lens they were actually meeting at a point so that point was what we call the focus of this lens in this particular case since the lines are not intersecting at a point what we'll do is we'll try to trace them back on the other side and the point where the trace ray meet that is what we call the focus of this lens let's try to have a greater understanding if we change the curvature of this like it is also converging the rays are converging at this particular point now what we'll do is we'll try to change this object with a similar shape but it is a little bulged the curvature is different it is also converging but at a nearer point so we can say that the focus changes as the aperture of the substance of the object changes but do you wonder like uh, what if we pour water into it and will the focus change or it will remain same so like uh, when we uh, bring into water into this picture what we'll observe is first uh, we'll do it without bringing water and uh, we'll notice the focus of the lens Now slowly we'll pour water without changing the position of the lens and the position of the ray box. We'll pour water. And what you'll observe, you'll observe that the rays are still converging but at a very different point. The focus has increased very much. So now, uh, as in the last video what we saw is that this is the lens and the rays were coming like this and they were actually meeting at some point. So this is the point that we call the focus of this lens now in the second case what we did is we uh, filled this area with water this complete area so this is like this it is water and uh, this was our same lens so what we observed is the focus changed like the rays were meeting but at a very farther point so why this was happening is because now actually this was air this was air and this was glass now what's happening is this is air this is water this is glass this is again water and now this is air so what's actually happening what is the reason of bending of these rays is because of refraction so what happens in refraction is like you have uh, studied in the earlier classes if the ray comes uh, it bends towards the normal and it's like that whenever there is change in the medium the ray change their direction so now in this particular case there is change in medium from air to glass so there will be a certain angle where the rays will bend but in this particular case also there is change in medium but what actually is happening is the change in medium is from water to glass in this it was from air to glass and in this it was from water to glass therefore the mediums are different so the angles will be different so because of different angles the rays are meeting at farther point 